right I'd like to install this NVMe drive into my precision and this is how you do it the first thing you need to do is remove the SD card or the dummy card now the battery cover when you're working with sensitive electronics please use an earth strap fasten the other side to the earth point in your workshop right if you're just removing or installing a new ssd over here you do not have to remove the entire battery but it is a good idea to just disconnect the battery so all you do is there's a little strap here and you pull upwards be very careful don't pull it yank it out just uh, support it here and you're kind of just going to pull it up maybe one centimeter look there we go that's it so now if you want to you can work on this ssd i'll show you how to remove this right using a star screwdriver there are three screws one Now what you want to do is unlock it like that and you gently want to lift this out. If you have a look there, you'll see there's a pin there. Um, so it stops this from moving. You can't move it. You have to lift and pull back gently. You can see I've pulled it back and there it comes out of the slot. Now to change the SSD, you follow the following steps. If you have a look on the sides here, you'll see that it is seated under there and there. And on this side, it's locked in place over there. So what you want to do is you want to slide this out gently. You see I pressed on the teeth, keeping in mind you wear your anti-static bracelet. Now you'll gently pull this out. So you lift it up like that, and now it can come out. See there? Right, now there is the heat sink. And to separate it, you just gently peel one side or any one of the sides fine gently just peel it open you'll see that it eventually will release there we go right so there is the old nvme and say for example you wanted to install a new one just make sure you are using the correct size okay to reinstall your ssd it's a little bit different put this in place first as you can see that slides in there now this is a sticky and it goes in one way only and you see it says releasing ssd that is by the teeth side and all you do is you've got to come at a bit of an angle make sure that is seated like that and you need to gently can you see there's a lip there you can see there's a, a place for it to wedge in there and there but if you push it on now it won't move because it's stuck it's sticky it's got a sticky back so what you got to do is you got to lift it a bit and gently seat it there we go now you can depress it so all i did is i lifted it a bit and slide it in now you put this back in in the way you took it out line up the teeth don't come at too much of an angle just above the screw post there push it in line it in and there we go so you'll see screw 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 all lined up And then you lock it in place thereafter you reconnect your battery and then you just depress this power cable back down push that out of the way and now all you need to do is put the cover back on to remove the full size battery you've released it there now you've got a screw there there and there And peel out the battery upwards just be careful move this cable out of the way and there comes your battery now to get to the other SSDs you need to remove this back cover to remove this back cover you've got one and two screws you remove this screw over here and this screw over here please note the screw for the back cover is longer than the screw for the battery to remove this back cover you just slide it like that and pull upwards there you can see the space for your additional ram and your your ssd your ssd and your other ssd all right to install your new ssd you're going to unscrew this screw over here and there's another one over here you remove the cover 
you can insert your NVMe drive gently push it in there now you can see that that can be seated now you can immediately put the screw in now the thermal tape here you can remove the little cover and there's the little sticky side and you want to put this on to act as a heatsink right you'll screw that in like that and there you've inserted your NVMe drive if you're going to be using this one all you do is you open that screw over there the cover comes out and you install your NVMe in the same way you'll open that screw slide it in then you open the protective tape there and this must slide you can see there's a lip there and then you tighten it in place Right, to reassemble, you take your cover, you line it up, make sure it's flush, make sure you press down firmly at the back there, and slide it in. Okay, it's already slided. Check that the, the seam is tight there and there's no gaps. Now you can put these screws, which are longer than the battery retaining screws. Battery slides in like this. Hold back the, uh, the cable that fastens it down. Now you put your three screws to fasten your battery down. And then you just depress this power cable back down, push that out of the way. And now all you need to do is put the cover back on. Right, there we go.